<laughs> hey, what's up, guys? My name is Tricks of Kids, and I'm back here again with another commentary for you guys. Um, first thing you notice right off the bat is um we're, we're starting off right in the middle of the action for this game, and uh, the reason for that is uh, the Almighty Theater mode for Call of Duty Black Ops uh, has uh, like superb uh, you know recording abilities, and um, you know I saved this game to theater, and it start it started from here, so I don't know why why I did that, but you know you gotta work with what you got and uh... that's one of the primary reasons i wish i had my own pvr because um... that way i would be able to like you know flawlessly flawlessly bring you guys the footage every time and i wouldn't have to worry about theater mode screwing up any of my like you know beast games that i get and uh... you're gonna see it happens again in uh... in a future video where uh... i don't want to spoil the score but it's over 150 kills and uh... theater mode doesn't record the whole thing so you know sad face for that reason but um... Well, wait a minute, Trix, is that a gold G11 I see? Yeah, the reason I had that was because, um, I think you guys know, a few weeks ago there was, uh, there was this kind of glitch out where you could get all the gold guns or, like, pretty much all the pro perks and everything. And, uh, me and my friend, we decided to do that just for shits and giggles. And, uh, I decided to get the gold G11 because I knew I wouldn't be getting that anytime soon in my life. So, I, you know, I really wanted to try that out and see what it looked like. And, um, in my opinion, it doesn't look as good as it should with the gold. I mean, the reload animation is sexy as hell because of the, you know, the G11 has that crazy reload and it looks like you're reloading with, like, a gold bar or something. But, um... You know like the majority of the gun is black and that's one thing i don't like it was the same thing with the ak-47 in cod 4 or model for 2 i forget where um you could barely even see the camo but um you know still the, gu the gun is just a flat out beast so and it's really good for this type of map because um a lot of your engagements are going to be long range and g11 is one of the best guns for that kind of uh combat so um you're gonna see i go on a pretty nasty tear of this game i'm using flak jacket hardened and uh i think marathon all pro because of that glitch and the gold g11 and i'm rocking the blackbird chopper gunner and attack dogs which is just a beastie setup and i've been starting to use that a lot lately because the i don't you probably a lot of you probably know the you know thunder toro and he's always talking about his fusion of kill streaks so um you know i thought i'd do that and try it out and it actually does work as you're gonna see my dogs they take out a lot of the people that were ghosts and um you know on the topic of ghosts i just wanted to like i know a lot of people in this community have been stating their opinions about like all the problems uh quote unquote problems that this game has and um in my opinion like a really easy way to fix second chance would be just to move it up to the first tier slot that way you couldn't run ghost and second chance at the same time and another thing would be is um you know, for, for a similar reason as to what I just stated, there would be a lot less people running second chance because they would either be running ghost or there would be a lot less people running ghost because they would be running second chance. And another thing that would do is, I know a lot of people have always been wanting something to show that a person is running second chance so that way they're ready to shoot at them when they, uh, you know, mystically fall to the ground even though they're supposed to be dead. And uh, if, you, as you guys know, if you if the first tier perk that you guys choose, it's always gonna be shown up in your appearance in game. Like if you are ghost, you get the, you know, the bush wookie or the Chewbacca suit. And um, if you're wearing lightweight, you get like the whole Vietnamese guy, who's uh, Matt Slim and shit. So if you're wearing second chance, you could have like um, you know, like some kind of shirt that says noob written across it, and that way he would be able to know that when he, uh, you know put a few more extra bullets into him because he's running uh you know pretty gay perk so um that's one way that i've come up with to fix it uh but another thing i want to talk about is like i've been uh i've been thinking about how everyone always complains about problems in a game and it's just kind of sad to me like um you know it's it's a video game and you just play it to have fun and it doesn't really matter about a perk or something like that's going so specifically into detail and i was ranting about this thing with one of my friends his name is quantums uh i re i met him recently but um he's become my best rant buddy right now and uh, i rant to him a lot so i always rant to him like about that so yeah um let me know if you guys want to see some more uh commentaries like this or some more indian commentaries uh it's really all up to you guys right now i just want to do whatever you guys want and um uh, if you guys know a uh, guy named uh, Team, uh, you know, Foreplay, he's on Team Envious. Uh, he's hooking me up with some pretty big things, and uh, I'll bring, I'll show, I'll link you guys to that. But um, I'll just give you a hint: it has machinima in it. So yeah, that should be pretty interesting. 
um hopefully uh things work out with that um just to get my channel some more exposure that's pretty much all i want i really don't care about money or anything uh if machinima were to offer me a contract i'm i pr i don't know what i'd do with the money i might either reject it or i might ask them to just like instead of giving it to me or give it to some charity or like give me like 10 percent of it because um pretty much the only money i need right now at this stage of my life is just um you know getting chips and m&ms honestly but um yeah this game's wrapping up i end up going 40 to 4 in a regular team deathmatch on um array which is a which is a pretty good score in my opinion um i felt like mark of j when i was playing this game but uh yeah this game's wrapping up i hope you guys can leave me a like rating if you're up for it and i really appreciate you for watching thanks guys peace